to my channel. Um, I am wearing the same outfit as the last video because I decided to do two videos today. So it's not because I haven't showered, it's because I decided to do two videos. So right now I'm going to be doing a story time of the time I got pregnant. So if you want to listen to this crazy story, just Before keep Before I start watching. the story time, I do want to tell you it's a little TMI. Um... Well, us girls, we could talk, you know, we've been through some situations. But guys, if you're listening, sorry. If you need to forward a little bit, go ahead and forward. I'm just telling you what happened to me. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there before you guys listen to the story. So, of course, it was with Avery. Um, at the time, me and Avery we were both working at the, at the beauty supply store. Um, we were working there together. I think he recently like got fired so at that time I was still working there Avery got fired because he was late to work so they counted like points on us whatever so it was me working at the time we did have a job set up like the month after but it all started when one day I dropped off Avery to his job interview because you know he was looking for a job so I dropped him off at his job interview and I just realized when I was in the car waiting for him I was like damn I've been on my period for a minute now so I was like what the heck like it, I think it was like 10 days and I've never gone 10 days on my period like I said this is TMI so sorry so I was 10 days on my period and I was like, what the heck? And I started, of course, Googling. So I'm Googling and they're like, oh, it could be a sign of early pregnancy. It could be this. Because I was bleeding, but I was like just spotting. So I was like, what the heck? But at first I was having like my normal period. And then after like my period was supposed to be done, I was still spotting. And I was like, that's a little weird. So I Googled it and they said, oh, it could be pregnancy. It could be this, it could be that. So I was like, whatever, I'm going to just call the clinic, let them know I need a doctor's appointment, like, let them know what's going on. So I let them know, I was like, hey, like, I've been on my period for, like, 10 days. Um, this has never happened to me before, like, what should I do? So they were like, you know what, don't worry, sometimes it's normal. Go ahead and come in today, and we'll do a urine test and a blood test, and we'll see what's going on. I'm like, okay, cool. So I... Right after Avery's interview, we, I went to the hospital, or to the hospital, to the clinic. I got my blood drawn and the pee test. I went back home. I was getting ready for work because that day I had to work. Avery dropped me off at work. I went and to my regular shift. And, um, yeah, I was working. And then I got a phone call from the clinic, like, not right away, but like an hour later. So I answer. And I run outside because I didn't want to get interrupted. I wanted to hear what was going on. So I ran outside to get this phone call. So I ran out. I was like, hello? And they're like, oh, is this Jessica? I was like, yes. They're like, oh, so we got your results back. And um, I do see here that you called because um, you were still bleeding. And I was like, yeah. She's like, well, the pregnancy test came back positive. And I was like what at the, at this time i was 20 i believe i think i was 20 um avery was 23 so like my heart dropped i was like wait what like jesus am i dreaming and she was like yeah congratulations like you're pregnant and i'm like like it didn't feel real to me i'm like what the fuck and i was like okay and she was all like, yeah, but we need you to come back tomorrow so we could check you and make sure, like, everything's okay. Because she said, like, my level was up, but it was, like, barely going up. So it could either be an early pregnancy or they're not too sure. She didn't, you know, want to say anything bad. She was just like, it could be an early pregnancy. We just want you to come in the next day just to make sure everything's okay. We hung up and I was like, fuck, like, I wanted to throw up. I wanted to shit myself. Like, I was like, what do I do? Like... And I was like debating, should I call my mom or should I call Avery? And I was like, fuck. And I called Avery. <laughs> oh my God. I called Avery. I'm like, hey. And he was like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, I just got a call and I'm pregnant. Dude, 
it was fucking silence. I did not hear nothing come out his mouth. And I'm like, hello? He was like, he was like, I think he was like, what? Like, I'm like, I'm pregnant. Like, he just told me and said I'm pregnant and I have to go in tomorrow and make sure, like, I'm okay. He, like, did not say anything. Like, he, I think he was, like, shocked. And I'm like, hello? Like, I'm waiting for you to say something, bro. Like, I'm freaking out. You're not saying shit. And he didn't say nothing. And I'm like, are you mad? He was like, no. And I'm like, fucking say something, bro. Like, I can't with you right now. Like, I'm freaking out. You're not even here for me. But, yeah, I was like, are you still going to pick me up after work? <laughs> he was like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you after work. I hung up. So, I go in the next day um, to my appointment. I know Avery didn't go because he had orientation for his new job. So I went by myself, and at that time, nobody else knew. Uh, I was going in, and I'm like, I was nervous. I'm like, I hope everything's okay. Like, So I went in. They did, like, the ultrasound, you know, the one that goes inside because it's too soon to do the one. You get what I mean, ladies. So they did the one that goes inside, and then the lady was all like, oh, well, I don't see nothing yet. She said, your levels are still pretty low, so it could be that, you know, the baby's not bigger. You know, like, I guess there's, like, a certain level, HCG level, or weeks for them to be able to see anything. And I guess she couldn't see anything. So she told me right then and there, she was like, it could either be an early pregnancy or an early miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. And I was like, oh my god, like, I'm scared. Like, you can't even see nothing. Like, I I was, like, really hoping, like, oh, like, I'm going to go in and they're going to, you know, be able to tell me, like, what's going on. And no, I still can't, like, got out with no answers. So she basically said, I need you to come in every two days and get your blood work done. If your HCG levels goes up, that means you're pregnant and the baby's growing. If they go down, that means... Like, it could have been a miscarriage. So, I'm like, okay, fine. So, I was going in every two days. So, I would go and just get my blood work. And they would call me and they would tell me, okay, it looks like it's going up. So, you're pregnant. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that's awesome. So, I think it was like that for like almost a month. Almost a month. And, um... I remember I felt super bloated. I was always hungry, you know, but I felt super bloated. And then there was a point where my stomach was hurting, like hurting super bad. Oh no, I don't even think it was a month. You know what? I can't remember. It was a couple of weeks though. They told me that they were going to keep checking my blood uh, to see if it goes up. If it goes up, just, you know, uh, try not to do a lot since you are still bleeding. Um, don't be on your feet too much and I'm like okay cool and I would tell Avery I'm like I'm bloated like I don't feel good and then one day we ended up going to a mall and I was walking and I would have to pee a lot and every time I would go pee I would bleed more and I'm like what the fuck like this isn't normal dude this is not normal and I would call them and tell them like hey like I went to the mall and I was bleeding way more. Like, it wasn't a lot, but it was more than just spotting. And I'm like, should I be worried? They're like, no, you should be fine. Just go home, rest. Like, And I had an appointment to finally do an ultrasound. And this is where we were going to be able to see the baby. So, I remember that day, um, Avery had to take care of his grandma. Um... Because she was super sick, which I understood. I was like, no, go take care of your grandma. I'll go to a doctor's appointment. And um, I went with my mom and dad. My mom and dad with, went with me. This lady was doing the ultrasound, and she wasn't telling me anything. And I'm like, is everything okay? Like, I'm just laying here, and you're just checking me, and not saying nothing. And I asked her, I'm like, is everything okay? And she was like, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. She comes back, and then she said, okay, I'm going to have to send you to 
the other Kaiser real quick because they have another machine they could use. I, I, I honestly can't remember exactly why she basically told me to go to the other uh, uh, clinic. So as I'm heading over there, one of the someone calls me from Kaiser. It was like, hey, um, you need to go to the ER. And I'm like, why is everything okay? Like, what the heck? And they're like, so there's like blood around your ovaries. Like, basically, you need to go to the ER ASAP. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, and I told my dad, I'm like, dad, I guess I have to go to the ER. And they didn't send me. They sent me to the one where it was, they said they sent, they're going to send me to one that was a little bit farther, but for me to go over there so they could take me in right away because I needed to go in right away. They were trying to send an ambulance to me and I was like, no, like we could drive. And I was like, what the heck? And so I told my dad, my dad started driving to the other hospital, to the ER, and then I was just scared. Um, I started crying. I started freaking crying because I didn't know what was going on. No one was telling me anything. They just expected me to fucking go with the flow. So we're heading over there and I'm crying. I'm like, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. I told my mom, I'm like, there's something wrong. I know there's something wrong. And she was like, no, it's okay. She's just like trying to hold my hand, trying to make me feel better. I'm like, no, I just know. But anyways, I still get emotional because that was really hard for me. But anyways, we get to the ER. Um, they sent me to the back right away. Um, and they got me laying there like for like an hour. Hour I was laying there and they were just coming in like... Um, a doctor came in, did an ultrasound, then they left, and then another doctor came, um, do another ultrasound, and then they left. Like, I think there was, like, three doctors. I can't remember. And then one doctor came back, and she was like, okay, look, um, so you have an ectopic pregnancy. So, ba and she was basically explaining to me, like, the baby is in the tube, in your fallopian tube. So it didn't go where it was supposed to go. It basically got stuck. <laughs> and it was, I guess, it was growing. And that's why my HC HCG levels were going up. But it wasn't growing where it was supposed to. And luckily, it didn't, um like, burst my tube. Like, you know, break my tube. Because that would have been really bad. Like, I would have had to go to the ER, like... I can't remember what she said, but, like, it scared me. She said, luckily, like, it didn't grow any bigger. Like, you were having, like, a miscarriage. So, babe, the baby basically was dying. So, I was like, oh, wow. Like, and she told me, like, you can't continue with this pregnancy. We're going to give you an injection. It's supposed to help it dissolve and basically go away. Oh, my God. When she said that, she was all like... She was trying to be nice, and she was like, okay, and I was like, okay, I started crying. I was crying, she was like, I'm so sorry, I'm like, it's okay, she was like, no, it's not okay, and then I look at my mom and I, my dad, and I'm like, I can't do nothing, like, and I remember, like, my outfit, I had, like, a pretty dress on, I was like, I want to look pretty for my first ultrasound. But yeah and whatever and then my dad looks at me and one thing I'm never gonna forget he looked at me and told me I don't know what you're going through but you gotta be strong things happen for a reason and yeah, they came in, gave me my injection. The nurse, she was like, okay, you could go now. And I'm like, okay, cool. I got up, and I look at my mom, and I'm like, mom, I'm about to pass out. My ears started ringing. Uh, my mom said my face went pale, and I couldn't hear her anymore. Like, I was like, I'm about to pass out, mom. And I sat back down, and my mom's like, it's okay. Like, 
they were trying to grab the nurse and the nurse was like what's going on and my mom's like she is about to faint they checked my like blood pressure i think and i guess like it was super low um and then they told me oh well you can't leave till you're back to normal and i'm like bitch you were just gonna send me like this on the ride home like it was so i woke like anything could happen at any minute like that day i woke up like oh i'm about to see my baby and then i left the hospital like with nothing you know it was so hard um i remember after the clinic we went to king supers i didn't get out the car i was like not in the mood i was still crying and we went home my mom cooked us some food i did not want to eat but she was like trying to force me to eat and then but when i got home I, I saw my brother and my sister and they both look at me and I just started crying and I felt bad but the next day like I didn't want to eat like I didn't want to talk to nobody I was like depressed um, yeah like it's hard so I need to stop crying it's hard though and I still get emotional because I don't know it was something really hard like something really I don't know like it was like something was given to me but taken away so quickly like but like my dad said things happen for a reason me and Avery we're, we weren't financially ready I don't think we were mentally ready I, I don't know maybe that's why um, this happened I don't know but all I know is God's gonna give me my rainbow baby when it's the right time and I am waiting patiently <laughs> trying to wait patiently and yeah so for all of you who been through miscarriages or topic pregnancies or difficult pregnancies I feel you like I completely feel you a lot of people don't talk about these type of things you know and I feel like it's something that is you're able to talk about I don't I don't think you shouldn't talk about it I held this in for so long a lot of people didn't even know like I was pregnant because I didn't want nobody to know. I did not want to hear no negative comments. But there's a lot of women out there that go through this. And they just keep it in. And that's that's not good for you. And I learned it's not good for me. I held it in for a while. I, I was trying to act like it didn't phase me. But it did. It affected me a lot. But God's going to bless me with a little one whatever he does and i'm gonna be so thankful so happy i feel like i would feel so complete once that happens mm. that whole situation um they did prescribe some medications for me because I, they said i was going to be in pain um i mean i did get like cramping so they gave me some medication so i wouldn't feel that cramping um while the baby was like dissolving um i had to go back I think two more times to get that same injection um because so when i went back after i guess the baby wasn't dissolving so they're like okay like you have an option like do you want to get an injection again i'm like yes please because it's either injection or getting surgery and i do not want surgery because they're going to cut my tube and i was like no i want the injection i went in after that again and they're like okay like we're sending you to the er like you're getting surgery and i'm like what like no the doctor said i could get the injections three times so far it's only been two times that's the last thing i want to do why would i want to cut my tubes like i want to use them later on like come on man so they sat me down they're like well i think we just need to send you to the er and i'm sitting there looking at avery like they really want to put me in fucking surgery and cut my shit off so i was like no i want the injection so they injected um that medication again 
and yeah after that it the baby did dissolve and i guess my body was going back to normal sorry i was crying it's freaking hard but i wanted you guys to know me a little bit more and see kind of what i've gone through um, but yeah i try not to get sad about it um and every time i talk about it it makes me cry it just like my heart breaks just thinking about it because it was rough um it was super rough if you have any comments questions please leave on the comments below um don't forget to subscribe like this video if you want more story times just um let me know thank you guys for watching